foot of God, want to be baptized, repenting of their sins, ready to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, receiving the Holy Ghost. Women preachers are tearing up licenses. Men are leaving their second and third wives. And women are packing up, leaving a wicked second husband. And preachers are coming to their senses, coming out of pulpits. Well, this is only the beginning of things. This leads up to the coming of the Lord. Every preacher, that's the most dangerous title to have, preacher. In fact, Brother Solomon says he's often addressed as the preacher. Thus saith the preacher, well, in all actuality, there's only one true preacher. And it's not me. It's not Bishop Ellis. It's not Pastor Taylor. There's only one true preacher. And that's God. Because the Lord says to his apostles, it is not you that speaketh, but the voice of my father Speaketh in you. Now, that brings me to this. If the Lord says he is the one that speaketh, then why is there so many liars in God's pulpit? Because it's impossible for God to lie. And if the preachers are the messenger of the infallible God, then there should not be no lies in the message if. It came from God. That's right. But brother, if it don't come from God, it's going to be infested yeah. with lies like maggots on a corpse. That's right. And you bear in mind, it's God's will yes. that everything that's not according to his word be exposed and then destroyed. Right. You know, when I'm in the airport, sometimes that recording come over the uh, speaker that if you find any baggage or luggage that's unattended, uh, it shall be confiscated and destroyed. Well, I look at the many churches coming here. You ain't that far in the woods that the devil haven't found enough trees to clear out to set up churches. Think of it. Every church must have the same thing. So the Bible says, how is it then, brethren, when you come together, every one of you have a song. Yeah. Now, 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 you only can sing one song at a time. Yeah. If everybody get up singing songs, you'll look like you done lost your mind. Right. Well, if it looked like that, if everyone sang in different songs, how do you think it's going to look? Every man up preaching something different. All right, Williams, open your Bible. Let's go to work and get busy and see who we can give some pain to the day. All right, let's have it. Give Williams some juice now. First Corinthians chapter 14. Follow me. How is it then, brother? How is it then, brother? When ye come together. Did you find them yet? When ye come together. Hath a song. That's the problem. It's not even on. Mm -hmm. Every one of you. Hath a song. Now think of it. Five men get up. One singing glory, glory, hallelujah. The next one singing one Lord, one faith, one baptism. The next one singing uh, the preaching of the gospel soon be over. The next one singing sometime he feel like a motherless child. Amen. <laughs> Well, everybody would be confused. Yes. And this is why you have all these variety of religions, Baptist, Methodist, Presbyterian, Lutheran, non-denominational, apostolic, and seven-day Adventist, Mormon, Muslim, Jehovah Witnesses, the comic book religion. Yes. This is why everybody is confused because God, now you bear in mind, don't you blame this confusion on God? God is not the author of confusion. Do you hear this? In the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 14 and verse 33. Says what? For God, For God is not the author. You can't blame him. Of confusion. You cannot indict him. That's right. 
God is not the author, the originator of confusion. But what? But of peace. Glory to God. Yes. Where? As in all churches of the saints. Well, in God's church, he have a gospel that brings peace to you. Peace. Give you peace when you know what you have. That's right. And know you have it right. It give you peace. That's right. To know there's one God and not three. Yeah. Give you peace to know the way you're born again is repent of your sins and baptize in water in the name of Jesus Christ and have the true Holy Ghost. Amen. With the evidence of speaking in another tongue as the Spirit of God give utterance. That you got a faith that's in the book. That's right. Because the Bible says one Lord, one faith, one baptism. That give you comfort and give you peace. But if you have all these beliefs... Mm -hmm. And varieties of ideas and yeah. suppositions and theories. Yeah. None of that stuff is wrapped around with scripture. That's right. And one thing about the Bible, it's going to challenge what you've been taught. That's right. You know, it's a shocking thing to, be, to believe something. 5, 10, 15, 20, 30, 40, 50 years. Mm -hmm. And then later on, the Bible told you you've been lied to. Amen. And it makes you mad. It makes you scratch your head. And I remember one old man told me he wanted to go back and find his false prophet and take his 38 out and use it on him. Hmm. And in fact, he even asked him one day in church. After the word of God came, he just was shaking his head and threw his hand up. Pastor Jennings, I don't mean to interrupt you. Can I ask you a question? I said, yes, sir. He said, I got a 38 that I'm not supposed to have, but can I get one last use out of it? I said, to do what? He said, can I go kill the false prophet that tricked me? <laughs> I felt like telling him, go ahead. <laughs> but I had to tell him, you, you can't do that. And I asked him, why you want to do that? He said, I'm thinking of the years. He said, I'm 77 years old. He said, I'm thinking of the years that I've been lied to. I gave money to help these liars build churches and build schools and all this other stuff. He said, but I was sincere. I said, that's why God delivered you. You know, and you've been lied to for years, but yet you were sincere in what you was doing. God will make a way for you to come out of that mess. Amen. You cannot do no more than what you've been taught. That's, right. Amen. That's, right. That's why I don't blame the people. I can't no. indict you. No. I, I can't charge you. No. I have to charge the fella that you are following. That's, That's, right. Right. That's why the preacher, if you bear in mind the book of Revelation, the Bible says you shall be cast into the lake of fire where the beasts and false the false prophet, the preacher, they go in there. Yeah. I, I don't have no intentions on going to hell. Yeah. I believe Mississippi have all the heat that I need yeah. and what I don't want. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. I've been talking to my wife since I've been here. She said, how hot is it? I said, it's so hot, I don't want it. <laughs> I don't want it. Now, one thing about the heat here, you can go inside of a building and cool off. Yeah. But in hell, you got to fall as long as God remains God. And there is no end to God. He's from everlasting to everlasting. There's no light in hell for the Bible said it shall be cast in the outer darkness. But the heat of hell is not like the heat of earth. For the heat of earth, when there's a fire, fire can be controlled by men. And man can put it out. But the heat of hell is the anger of God. That's right. For God declared that there's a fire kindled in my anger. There ain't no fire hose, no bucket of water, no nothing can be tossed on the flames of hell. That's right. It wouldn't be so bad if you burn up. But you will be there forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. That's eternal. Never come out. Never hit a bottom. Now, as when the longer you fall, the faster you fall. Can you imagine? And your flesh, by the creating power of your Lord, 
will never be consumed. That's right. But the flames of hell, yeah. that anger of God, yeah. is going to wrap around the flesh yeah. of the whole human race. Yes. And they're going to burn you and burn you and burn you yeah. throughout eternity. eternity. That's God's way of paying you back That's right. for lying on him, yeah. for disobeying him. Yeah for rejecting his counsel yes. that he brings through the preacher that declares God everlasting word. Yes. So the human family, you can run around now and cuss God out. Go ahead. Yes. Cuss God out, contain a dance and party and shake your hips and bless God and lie and say God made you some old Jerry Curl head Mississippi reverend. Yeah. <laughs> Go, ahead. Go ahead. Keep trading your wives and then your husbands and remarrying and divorcing like a bunch of heathens. But God Almighty yeah. is going to pay the whole world back. That's right. When one day you're going to hear universal commotion. Oh, yeah. And you're going to look out your window. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. Or take God Hallelujah. and there is the I am. Yeah. That Hallelujah. I am. In the heavens. Oh, yeah. Amen. You fools out here that say there is no God. Mm -hmm. Amen. That don't bother God. No, no. Oh, Amen. Wow. That don't bother God. Listen, you can look at a house burning mm -hmm. and say that house is not on fire. That don't stop the fire. That's no. Right. And your unbelief don't put out the flame. Right. No, no. One day creation is mm -hmm. going to see God. The day of the Lord. Do you hear this? In 2 Peter chapter 3 and at verse 10. The apostle Peter declared. But the day of the Lord. The Lord's day will come i want you jehovah witnesses to get this that's right amen yo you're gonna find your comic book won't help you that's right your watchtower that won't help you amen you may walk around knock on people's doors interrupting a good southern breakfast hmm. but god help your watchtower heart yeah. amen you know the jehovah witnesses don't believe that the earth gonna pass away they're so deceived of their father the devil they read the scripture that says the earth shall abide forever and they're so ignorant of the language of the bible they don't know what forever means forever is an indefinite period of time in which a certain thing would be done and when that thing has been accomplished that forever concerning that thing come to an end but when the bible says forever and then attach another forever to it forever and ever that's eternal that's right forever by itself is not eternal no. forever by itself is an indefinite period of time in which a thing will be done that's right but when the bible said forever and ever now that's eternal that's right so when the bible said the earth abide forever that's true that means the world will be here for a certain period of time that's right but my god when the date expire yes. and when that time is up oh it take god the day of the lord come then Lord. The day of the Lord. Oh, come. It's coming. Oh, yes. It's coming. Let, get all the smoke you can drag out your cigarette now. Now. <laughs> Being that you love flame so much, you, you'll get educated. The day of the Lord will come. As a thief in the night. Now, there's no thief that ring your house and say, hey, your, your name is Mr. Brown? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Mr. Brown, I'm about five doors up. I'm mm -hmm. just burglarizing your neighbor's house. I'll be there in about uh, 45 minutes. Leave the door unlocked. That's All right. right, Mr. Thief, you don't do that. No, no. The thief come inside your house. He don't care if you bathing. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Hey, man, the thief come in your house and walk by your bathroom while you in your shower scrubbing and hubbing. That's right. Hey, Amen. He get what he have to get and get gone. Oh, yes. God Almighty gone burglarized creation. That's right. He going to catch you. Yeah. That's right. And you know what's making it so frightening? Many people going to be functioning just like they are every day. Yeah. Having church. Two men somewhere going to be getting married. Yeah. Two women somewhere going to be getting married. Yeah. Somebody going to be cussing God out. That's right. Somebody going to be blaspheming God's holy name. Yeah. That's right. Some false prophet going to try to belittle God and make God like him. A liar. Some bigot going to be persecuting somebody somewhere else. Yeah. Yeah. Everything going to be functioning in its norm. That's right. And God is going to interrupt it. That's right. Think of it. Imagine walking the street, you and your family having a big time and an earthquake hits you. Yeah. Yeah. Eat something on the Richter scale. It catches everybody off guard. That's right. 
That's the way the coming of the Lord going to be. That's right. Mm -hmm. But the day of the Lord will come. The day of the Lord will come. As a thief in the night. As a thief in the night. In the which the heavens shall pass away. What's going to pass away? The heavens. The heavens. Heavens. Plural. Plural. Oh, that got everything. All right. That got the skies that you see. That got the heavens and the heavens of heavens. And mm -hmm. the, the Bible says how Jesus ascended above all heavens. Oh, the heavens yes. that you see and the heavens that you can't see. Right. God going to wipe it all out. That's right. I mean, just imagine one day you look up and the sky is not beautiful and blue no more. Right. But the entire sky is rolling with flames. Amen. And all you can do is run and holler and scream. Yeah. But your time is up. Oh, yeah. Amen. This period of time right now is an extension of God's mercy. That's right. This is the time that God show his mercy. That's it. To give men and women the proper time to get on God's side. Amen. Amen. This is your time now, Mississippi and the rest of the world, to get on God's side. That's the only reason why we're traveling like we are. My God, man, if I didn't love the soul of people, you think I'll be all the way down here? No. Not at all. Not down here? No. Oh, no. Not at all. Oh, no. Don't you know if one person would have came to this meeting, we wouldn't have turned the cameras off. Right. We wouldn't have canceled service. Oh, no. It was one person in the building. Amen. We have preached the same message. That's right. Amen. So that one can get a chance to obey God. That's right. You get what I'm telling you? But the day of the Lord. The day. Hallelujah. Will Glory take come. God. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The day of the Lord. Will come. It will. Will come. Not guessing. Will. Will Not come. I suppose. Oh, no. It, it will happen. Uh -huh. As a thief in the As night. As a thief in the night. In the which the heavens shall and pass the away. And the which of heaven shall pass away. With a with great, a noise, great noise. And the elements shall and melt. The elements shall do what? Shall melt. Wait a minute. Can you imagine seeing the stars melt like melt. wax? Oh, yes. One scripture says in the Old Testament, heaven and earth shall pass away and, and the elements going to wax old like a garment. That's right. And then he said, as a vexture, he going to fold them up. That's right. But when a prophet looked at God, he said, but thou art the same. That's right. <laughs> Go to God. What he said? And the elements shall melt with fervent heat. What kind of heat? Fervent heat. That's hot. Fervent. And the earth also. Wait a minute. The earth? The earth also. Also. And the works that are therein. What's going to happen to everything in the earth? Shall be burned up. <laughs> That's why I don't care how big your house is. Glory in your mansion now. Go ahead, glory in it. Extend it if you like. Amen. But God's going to burn it up. Amen. Build it out of limestone and whatnot. And the three little pigs, that story ain't going to work here. Oh, no. Yeah. No, no. Amen. You can build your house out of straw, wood, brick, silver, brass, yes. copper, gold, yes. limestone, steel, and concrete. Mm -hmm. But, brother, yeah. when God Almighty hit creation, That's right. and he's going to hit it, too. Oh, yeah. He's giving the entire earth, every religion now, every religion on the earth, yeah. must, must stop the fake wish up. What do you mean fake wish up any time your religion is not what God has? Mm -hmm. And any time you profess to be something and God didn't tell you to be that, yeah. you got to shut that religion down. That's why we're telling everybody in the state of Mississippi mm -hmm. and the whole world, pack up and leave your churches. You might as well leave your church. I got thousands of letters coming in. I brought some mail down here with me. I got so much mail, I try to travel with it and try to catch up and still never catch up. Amen. Thousands and thousands of letters from all around the world. So many people write me and say, look, we don't obey what you said. We left church. We stopped going to church. Uh, several meeting in this building and watch the telecast. Several meeting in that house. Yeah. All of you that's meeting in houses, you contact Pastor Jennings. Yeah. Let me know how many uh, is it of you and where you are. And none of you brothers don't take it upon yourself to try to preach now. That's right. Don't do that. The word of God is a dangerous tool. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Amen. Yeah. You, 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 you try to handle that and, yeah. unless you know what you're doing. And to know what you're doing, you got to be taught how to handle it. You can, you can take a 38 and hurt yourself with it. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah, if you're not taught how to handle a gun and you shoot it, you come back and hit your own self. That's right. My God, man, that thing is stronger than the gun. Oh, yeah. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Amen. So there's so many of you that's meeting and houses and 
We got so many letters from universities, college universities, mm -hmm. where hundreds of kids just meeting in dorms, watching a message yeah. on YouTube, just watching it, Amen. saying how they never seen nothing like it. Many preachers are writing me and telling me how they got a smart TV in their office, and they say they watch the telecast and take notes and before they preach. One <laughs> mm. Take notes before they preach. One man wrote me and said, I'm determined not to lie. <laughs> and so I watch you on my smart television, take notes, and then I just get up and preach the same thing. You may preach the same thing, but are you obeying the same thing? That's it. Yeah? That's it. Glory to God. The Bible says obedience is better to take God than sacrifice. What did he say, son? The earth also. Hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. Glory to God. The earth also. The earth also. Also. And the works that are there in. This beautiful building here. All this hard work that Bishop Bellis is doing. But what God going to do to it? Burned up. <laughs> that 200,000 square foot campus that God gave us down there in Philadelphia. Mm, shall be burned up. It's going to burn up. Burned up. And man, the main auditorium, we can hold over 2,600 people. Yeah. And the lower auditorium, we can hold over 1,000 people. Oh, yeah. But when God comes. Shall be burned up. God ain't gonna say, well, I gave you that, I pass right over it. Oh, no. And then we can't, you can't take your, listen, you can't take your house, no. you can't take your wife, your children, no. your jewelry, your car, you can't take nothing that you have. That's right. Don't you hear the Bible talking, nigga, you came in the world. That's right. Nigga, you shall return. Yeah. And God, I'm so glad he got it fixed like that. Right. That way you can realize what you are. Amen. Nothing but a speck of dust. That's all. Yeah? That's right. That's that's all you are. That's it. You're nothing. nothing. All of us are nothing. Nothing. But a speck of dust. That's right. Or it take God. You owe God everything. Okay. And you might as well surrender. Okay. Everybody under the sun, you might as well surrender. That's right. I don't care if you think you're so beautiful until when you walk, you make flowers grow. Oh, All yeah. the roses lift the head up at you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Amen. Go and take God. Mr. Man, Mr. Man, Mr. Man. I don't care if you think you're so handsome that when you walk the street, clouds back up and the sun shine upon your feet. That's right. But one day, darkness going to hit creation. Oh, yes. Yeah. One scripture said the sun will not give her light and the moon shall turn to blood. That's right. You gonna remember Hallelujah. that God Almighty made you for his glory. That's right. You gonna remember. That's right. Go around there and glory in yourself like you're so much. But you're going to understand the only one rule oh, yes. in the kingdom of man, and that's God himself. The earth also. The what? The earth also. The earth also. And the works that are therein. That makes me think. Yeah. That makes me think. All the works. All the works. All these nice, beautiful cars, Bentleys, Rose, and yeah. Maybox, and Ferraris, and everything. Lincolns and Jags and yeah. limousines and Porsche. And right. I don't care what all the works, the works. everything, That's every right. business, every company, That's right. all you millionaires, how you got rich, mm -hmm. God gonna burn all mm -hmm. your business up. Amen. Do you hear it? The earth also. The earth also. Every news outlet. Listen, every news outlet, every cameraman in the world, yeah. you too. You, the word is for you too. That's right. And when, when you're done filming, you might as well get ready to repent of your sins, right. change your clothes, and go down go in water so the Lord Almighty can wash them sins away. That's right. Or you and your camera is going to be dropped in hell. The earth also. The earth also. Everybody should give Hallelujah. their life to God. That's right. Everybody. That's right. My God, man, look how good God Hallelujah. made to you. Hallelujah. You breathe. Hallelujah. My God permission. Hallelujah. Hey. Hallelujah. The clothes on your back. Hallelujah. God gave you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Go and take off. Hallelujah. The roof over your head. Hallelujah. God gave you. The food you put in your mouth. Hallelujah. Go ahead. Hallelujah. God gave you. Do you understand? Yes, also. The skill that you have. Hallelujah. The talent that you have. Hallelujah. God gave you. Oh, yes. I God who wouldn't serve a God like this. That's right. Every 
every talent and skill you have. Yeah. Don't you know God can God. shut your brains down right. whenever he chooses? Yes. That's right. Certainly he can. Oh, yes. You couldn't even spit off yourself oh, yes. if it's not from God. That's oh, right. Yes. Human family, yeah. you owe God everything. Oh, yes. Amen. Give God your life. That's right. God told you I yeah. made you for my glory. I will say to the Lord. Yeah. I will say I to the Lord. Yeah. He said I made you. I made the black man, the white man, the brown man, the yellow man. I made you for my glory. That's right. God didn't make you to smoke. God didn't make you to drink. God didn't make you to dance. God did not make you to serve the devil. That's right. God made you to live for him. That's right. God made you to walk with him. God made you to obey him. That's right. He's he's given man the opportunity. Look how he made it so that man will have no excuse. Until God came Himself. That's right. Isn't it? Yes. Amen. He, he couldn't come and show you what to do as a spirit That's right. because the spirit couldn't shed blood. That's right. So the spirit put on a body yes. and then walked the earth That's right. to make sure you have no excuse. That's right. He walked among men. Amen. Showed you what, you, what to do. Showed you how to do it. Allow His body to endure. Thank God leaving us an example. That's right. Thank God that we should follow his steps. And now his arrogant, self-righteous, educated man. Yeah. You only have the breath in your nostrils. That's right. That's One day, your breath going to be taken out of your body. That's right. Huh? That's you right. may be at your computer. You may be somewhere on a construction site. You may be standing behind a switchboard. Right. You may be working a soundboard. Yeah. You may be somewhere in the newsroom. Yeah. But one day, thank yeah. God, I was watching this documentary one day on YouTube. Yeah. And the heading was people that died in front of people. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And they were showing how different Ooh, men was up yeah. speaking. Yeah. And I was watching, there was an imam, a Muslim imam. He was just giving his lesson to hundreds of and hundreds of Muslims uh, overseas in a mosque from the Quran. Yeah. And as he was speaking Arabic, he was, he was an elderly man, he stopped. Mm-hmm. And the camera stayed on him. And different other imams and brothers out there from the Islamic community ran up to him yeah. and see what was, go- what was going on. But they never took the camera off of him. Mm-hmm. While he was speaking, he just gave one deep breath. And God snatched the soul. Amen. And he died while the camera was on him. That's right. I mean, just sat there. Amen. And just start going down this chair. Yeah. Lord, they Lord. thought he was going to sleep. It was asleep. Yeah. God don't care who you are, where you come from, or what you're doing. That's right. The objective of the truth of God Hallelujah. is to prepare you to meet your Lord. That's right. You're going to meet him. My God, you may go to bed tonight and don't wake up. Yeah. You, you, you can lay your clothes out tonight yeah. and iron them for work tomorrow. Yeah. And in your mind, you're going to work. That's right. And God mind, I gave you time That's right. to obey me. That's right. And now your time ran out. Amen. Huh? It ran out, I said. Oh, we take God to you get what I'm talking. That's right. What did the Holy Ghost say? Yes. Also. yes? Also. also, and the works that are therein. And the works, all the works, everything you see, yeah. they, all the bridges, all the highways, all the skyscrapers, we got letters pouring in from the richest place in the world, yeah. Dubai. Letters yeah. are coming from all over Dubai. Yeah. I consider the richest place in the world now. Yeah. Yeah. People out of Dubai, Pastor Jennings, we watch you. We don't miss you. Yeah. Uh, ain't no one preaching holiness over here in Dubai. Yeah. Would you please make a way so we can be baptized? Yeah. In the name of Jesus Christ, we contact our ministers in Africa. Yeah. They're making arrangements now with the other ministers in Africa to fly to Dubai yeah. to baptize them in the name of Jesus Christ. Wonderful. Yeah. Who will take God? The earth. The earth also. Also. And the works that are therein. Shall what? Shall be burned up. Don't you hear the Bible said, nigga, you came in the world? That's right. Nigga, you shall return. You think that's written for fun? Mm. You wasn't born with a husband. You wasn't born with a wife. And when you die, you ain't going to have one. For we brought nothing into this world. Do you hear the Bible talking? In 1 Timothy chapter 6 and at verse 7. 1 Timothy 6 and 7. You that are here and you that are listening, you better get this. Amen. The Bible says. For we brought nothing into this world. 
God talking. For we brought nothing, nothing into this world. You didn't come. Listen, you didn't even have a name. That's right. Someone Amen. had to give you that. That's right. Amen. You brought nothing. Nothing into and this here world. you foolish rich. I meet rich people all the time. Mm -hmm. As I said on many broadcasters, sometimes wealthy people come to the church. NFL uh, stars come to the church. NFL and uh, NBA players. And we got to call, you know, in Europe, they, we call what we call soccer yeah. here in America. Yeah. They call football yeah. in Europe. Yeah. And there was one uh, popular football player in Europe. He caught the program and he went on down to the church, I believe in England, and went down in water. Wonderful. In the name of Jesus. Christ. Amen. Amen. We, we, was, we was kicking some scripture to him. Amen. Kicking some good scripture to him, you know. Amen. One thing about this, nobody's celebrity status That's right. do God care about. That's right. Who's more popular than him? That's right. Who's greater than him? Amen. Who's more important than him? Oh, yeah. You preachers might as well get it in, get it in your brain in now. Your brain. Right. You can be chauffeured around in your limousine. I don't care if your limousine is so long. You got to call your chauffeur on another area code Amen. just to make a left turn. Amen. Correct that God. But when you stand before God, yeah. when you stand before God, nobody's money, wealth, and status in the world right. will help you. God knows. That's right. What did he say? For we brought nothing into this world. You came here without anything. And it is certain. It is certain. We can carry nothing out. And that's the way you're going. That's right. So you might as well obey God while you're living. While you're here. Do you hear what the Bible says? For we brought nothing into this world. You better go back to the book of Peter, son. Mm -hmm. Let's finish up, Peter, because I'm not done with that. Amen. Amen. Heaven and earth shall pass away. But the day of the Lord will come. No, the day of Geno Genesis. But the day of the Lord so will come. So don't get mad at me. I didn't write this. That's right. And I didn't write the Bible. That's right. And there's a lie out now. Oh. Pastor Geno wrote his own Bible. He's a fool That's and an eternal fool. Amen. You really think I would write something? that's afflicting me like this no this Bible hurts oh. if I were write something it would be a comic book you know yeah. something uh, that's not true yeah. <laughs> that's right. hey man I wouldn't I wouldn't write hell and if you don't do this if you don't do that you gonna burn not me no, no. if anything I burn it'd be a grill that's right. I'd be outside grilling somewhere that's right what did the word of God say but the day of the Lord will come and God is so wonderful he made it possible for us to escape yes, hell. That's right. God did that. That's right. That day of the Lord will come. As a thief in, As the, a thief night, in the night. Under which the heaven shall pass away with a great noise. And, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. What else? The earth also. The earth also. And the works that and are there. All the works therein. Shall be burned up. And what else? Seeing then. Uh oh. Amen. Seeing then that all these things shall, shall dissolve. What man of persons ought ye to be? How should you be? In all holy. holy, ought ye to be in all holy conversation. Wait a minute, in all holy conversation. And godliness. And you should live right. Looking for. And listen, your talk got to be right. Yeah. Your life got to be right. Yeah. Why, 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 why should it be right? Looking for. Well, because we're looking for. And hasting unto. That God is coming quick. The, that's right. That's, God is coming quick. The coming of the day of God. The coming of the day of God. Where in Where the heavens? In the heavens? Where on fire. All right, Jehovah Witnesses, do you see this? God ain't going to make some eternal vacuum cleaner and suck all the dirt out the world and get rid of all sins on this earth. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's going to burn it up. That's right. He's going to burn it up. And every religion on the planet that's not in God's word. Yes. That, and there's only one way in the Bible. That's right. The Bible speaks plain, one Lord, one faith, one baptism. The Bible speaks plain according to as he have chosen us in him before the foundation of the world that we should be holy. Yeah. The Bible speaks plain the highway shall be there and it shall be called the way of holiness. There's only one thing, one setup, one standard, one law, one rule, one church, one doctrine, one truth to govern everybody under the sun. That's right. Think of it. Some folks say you're mighty narrow minded, straight and narrow is the way. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Like God, I'm a, when it comes to God, I'm going to stay narrow. narrow. Let everybody know there's only one thing that God has for everybody. Right. And everybody got to do the same thing to get into the kingdom of God. Looking for. And hasting unto the coming of the day of God. Why? Wherein the heavens being on fire. Do you hear that? Amen. The heavens. Heavens being on fire. My God, man, can you imagine? I'd rather see a thunderstorm. That's right. 
And down here in the south, y'all get some scary stuff. Oh, yeah. My God, sometimes it thunders so loud and make the alarm on cars go off. Yeah. Yeah. I'd rather have that oh, yeah. than come out of my house and all of heaven. Yes. Fire is Fire. tossing like waves of water. Yes. That's right. Can you imagine? That's yes. right. Elements are melting. melting. Everybody right. is running and yet nowhere to run to. That's right. Nowhere to run. Amen. Nowhere to hide. Amen. God catch you in bed with another man's wife. Amen. God catch you in bed with another woman's husband. That's right. God catch those two women yes. about to get have a fake marriage with a judge. Yeah. Yeah. God catch that clinic mm-hmm. about to do several abortions. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. God catch the doctor while he got a man on the operating table trying to change his anatomy to a woman. Then shall two be in the field. Do you hear? In the book of St. Matthew, chapter 24, oh, the, verse 40. The Bible just got you so up. See, one thing I'm so glad about this message, it touches everything. 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 Nobody get away. Nobody. Right. Nobody. No, God going to catch that man when he's trying to get plaques and look like a woman. That's right. He going to catch you. That's right. Mm-hmm. He going to catch you. Yeah. Amen. He going to catch you. That's right. Brother, when you try to get your body changed to a woman, then you can't make up your mind. You want to go back to a man, yeah. you know, like Bruce Jenner. Yeah. Bruce Jenner put on his sneakers and ran, tried to run from his manhood and then turned to an ugly looking woman. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Hey not even the Wheaties helped him. Glory to God. Right. Hey, turned to an ugly looking woman. I That's mean, right. it was just, hey, he was tore up from the floor. Amen. Hey, Amen. And then he ran back. To his manhood. Yeah. Ran right back to it. Isn't that something? Yeah. Now, now listen. Here, here the old man now. Do you know the way society is trying to cater to this madness? They are letting children decide what to be called. That's right. That's right. That when a child is born and then that child get older, that child can say, well, I'm a, I'm a woman. Yeah. Or I'm a man. Yeah. They, and, and besides saying uh, you got a male or you got a female or you got a boy or you got a girl, uh, they want to give it another title. another title. This shows you how wicked the government of America is. That's right. America is a government of the devil. That's right. And Trump and Congress, be it Democrat or Republicans, you'll all work for the devil. For the devil. You're a bunch of hypocrites Republicans who try to quote scripture because the devil did that to Jesus. That's right. Huh? That's right. Anybody can quote scriptures. Thank God the devil quotes scriptures for a long time. Amen. But the government of America, this is a wicked and a adulterous nation. That's right. And they have a strong hate for God, but they have a deep, passionate love for evil and wickedness and for the devil. Look at the movie industry. Look at the celebrities in the world. Even the music that they sing is to promote unrighteousness and try to keep you in sin, making our young girls look like whores and prostitutes, put you in short pants and shake your behind on national television. The so-called Christians do it and the sinners do it. Right. You are no different from anything else. That's right. And the church is out here that's founded by the devil, pastored by false prophets, and attended by hypocrites or prophets. Takers of the same madness. That's right. What is that? Then shall two be in the field. Off. Two, the Bible says. Shall be in the field. Give chapter and verse 7. In Matthew chapter 24 and at verse 4. Two shall be in the field. The one shall be taken. Oh, yes. God's going to take one. And the other left. Left. Hey, listen. Everybody ain't going to make it. No. Oh, no, no, no. Let's save your energy. Don't waste your time to get mad at Pastor Jennings. That's right. Use your time to get right. That's right. You might as well use your time. It takes a lot of energy to fight the truth of God. Oh, yeah. Too much energy you're using. <laughs> I advise you to take that energy and just take that heart and repent of your sins. Go down in water in the name of Jesus Christ. Pack up and leave your church. Leave your hymn book or take it if you like. Otherwise, in that, get as far as from that fake church. It doesn't matter if your husband is the pastor. No, no. If your husband don't preach the word of God and stand for holiness and preach the doctrine that God gave us a 
apostles, for the Bible said they continue steadfastly, and the apostles' doctrine and the doctrine of the apostles are the rules and regulations yeah. that God gave them to Hallelujah. govern the whole world. That's right. That's what the doctrine of the apostles is. Yeah. Don't you hear Solomon says, I give you a good doctrine. Good doctrine. And Pastor Paul call it the doctrine of godliness. Right. And the doctrine of godliness is the ways of Christ. It teaches you how God thinks, what God wants, what God don't want, what God allow, what God won't allow, what God put in place, and what man cannot take out of place. That's right. What is that? Then shall two be in the field. Two. It may be your husband and your wife. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Your yeah. husband and your wife, your brother and your sister. That's right. Maybe two brothers or two women. That's right. The bishop and his deacon. Mm. Two gonna be in the field. The one shall one be going, taken. One going to be taken and the other, and the left. other left. Two women. Two women. Shall be grinding. And maybe at the mother field. and daughter. Yes. Mm -hmm. Maybe mother and great granddaughter. Yeah. Right. And maybe mother and mother and daughter in law. That's right. But God says one's gonna be taken. And the other left. And the other left. Watch therefore. Watch! Watch therefore. Yeah, Yo, you listening at this church. Amen. We ain't just going to church traveling for fun. I know. When the Bible says watch, that don't mean walk around, look up at the sky. No, no. The first thing you better watch is your own self. That's right. Huh? Watch therefore. Watch therefore. For ye know not what hour. You don't know the hour. What? For ye know not watch, therefore. You, you, you better watch. Watch. You better watch. Mm. One scripture says that one by the apostle, watch and remember. That's I right. see not the wall, you night and day. Mm -hmm. All right. Watch, therefore. That what? For ye know not what you hour don't your know Lord what doeth hour. come. Your Lord will come. But know this. But know this. That if the good man of the house. But if the good man of the house. Had known in what watch the thief would come. What happened? He would have watched. Oh, yes. Mm. Right. Now. If you know when a thief come in your house, Amen. you're going to set up every trap. That's right. Even a bear trap if need be. Being that you don't know when the Lord's coming, what are you going to do with yourself? Oh, yeah. Are you going to continue to act like a fool? Yeah. It doesn't matter if you watch the truth of God and say, Pastor Jennings, man, I enjoy it. You tell it like it is. This ain't no entertainment. No. My God, man, this thing is direct from God to warn you about your wickedness. That's right. And you might as well prepare yourself to get yourself right That's on right. God's side. That's right. Hey, Amen. I, I was thinking of a 90, I believe 90 or 91 one year old man that I talked to first I talked to his great granddaughter yeah. hey man I got an email and they asked me to call and most folk don't think I'm going to call and when I do call I get the same reaction they get the screaming and hollering on the phone and some don't believe it's me so they hang up the phone <laughs> and then I got to call them back well I called and, uh, and I said this is Pastor Jennings and she said uh, are you for real I said yes ma'am she said Pastor Jennings I want to tell you about my grandfather. He, I think, I think he either was 90 or 91. Either way, she said how he haven't went to church in over 60 something years and how he grown, grew to hate church. Yes. Out of the stuff that he saw over the years, she said how he used to be under Bishop F.C. Johnson and got baptized in the name of Jesus Christ and Received the baptism of the Holy Ghost and amen. But when uh, war broke out, yeah. World War II, he went on the military and uh, when he came back, you know, he, he didn't get himself back with the Lord. And when he was ready to do it, Bishop Johnson died in 61. And he said under no circumstances was he willing to step foot in 22nd and Bama Street then. He said so he just drifted around and was out there for years he said, then when he start to think about getting himself back right, every day for almost 60 years, he would just listen to preachers yeah. on radio, on television, yeah. on radio. Yeah. She said one day he got so angry at a preacher on, on, on television, he kicked the whole television down. <laughs> And said it's just nothing out there. He, he, she said he listened to almost every apostolic faith preacher in his time. Yeah, yeah. Do, you, do you know how many preachers that was? Yes, sir. He said, oh, he said whenever a church was sent in the church of the Lord Jesus Christ, it made him excited. But he would listen. And the moment he would listen after the whole preaching, he had come back upset and angry. Yeah. 
Because either they start talking about you can divorce or you can remarry or they got three guards or they got women preachers. Something was wrong. She said so an internet came out and she said, you know, my grandfather don't know what internet is. She said, I told him, Grandpa, let's go to internet. And uh, so she said she worked the internet for him. And of course, on internet, there are thousands, thousands, thousands of preachers. And he just got so disgusted. She said, so one day he was watching television and was so angry. And she said he would tell her about holiness. Yeah. Holiness. She, he, she, she would tell her about the baptism. She said, I, don't, I never heard of holiness. But my grandfather would tell me about it. And uh, she said to her, it wasn't nothing wrong with the churches. Yeah. She said her grandfather told her, listen, I need, she said, he said, I know when I will find the right thing. Yes. He said, I know when I will find it. Yes. He said, because what I felt before I went to World War II yes. from the Holy Ghost, he said, I believe the Lord is going to make me feel that same spirit again. He said, so I'm going to keep waiting. But he got to a point where he concluded it just wasn't out there. She said, so as a result of such, she decided to put in YouTube holiness. All right. Glory to God and the truth of God came up. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he said, Pastor Jennings, I have a big screen in my living room. Yeah. And when the truth of God came up, you came up, Pastor Geno Jennings. And I said to my grandpa, do you want to hear him? He said, well, all right. He really wasn't that interested. She said, so she turned the message on, and she said she went in the kitchen, and the word was blasting. She said, it was something in your voice like I never heard. She said, I heard some noise in my living room, and my grandfather was walking around waving his hands saying, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it, wait it. 60 years. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. He said, that's it. Yeah, that's it. She yeah. said, then Pastor Dennis, my grandpa starts uttering a, a, another language. Yeah. 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 That was it. Yeah. 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 God. He said, and I said, I, I, is he nearby? He said, yeah. I said, let me speak to him. She said, grandpa, it's Pastor Dennis. You can hear him. No, don't you play with me. <laughs> she said, it's really him, Pastor Jennings. Uh, she gave him the phone, and I guess out of habit, I often call old timers Pop. I said, greetings, Pop. It's Pastor Jennings. He said, for real? <laughs> I said, yes, sir. He said, oh, my boy, my boy, my boy. <laughs> Hallelujah. You understand? Hallelujah. But think of it. It doesn't long matter how long you have the Holy Ghost. Right. If you really have the real Holy Ghost, it identifies Amen. with God. That's right. Huh? That's right. Oh, yeah. That's right. Doesn't matter where you receive it at. The real Holy Ghost always, always. identifies oh. with God. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Always. No matter how long you had it. When you run up on the Spirit of God, it activates. That Spirit of God in you. That's what the Bible says. It's as rivers of living water. Hallelujah. Glory to God. As living water. Glory to God. Glory to God. It works in you. Doesn't matter where you received it at. There's hundreds of people, thousands, that actually have the Holy Ghost. And they sit in these false churches so long. And spiritually, they're dying. Dying. The devil have used preachers to suck the spiritual life right out of you. Oh, it 
thank God for Jesus said, I'm the resurrection. That's right. Hey. That's right. Hey. That's right. I am the resurrection. Right. And I'm the life. Hallelujah. God can bring life Hallelujah. back in the church. That's, right. That's what God has done. Right. Hallelujah. He's bringing life Hallelujah. right back in the church. That's right. Right. Renewing that Holy Ghost. Some folk haven't spoken tongue in 30 years. Yeah. Holy Ghost is renewing. Yeah. Huh? That's what God is doing for the church. Yeah. The devil was placed, placing these men in the pulpit. Yeah. Black preachers, white preachers, Spanish preachers, Asian preachers, representing the devil, yeah. sucking the spirit. Yeah. All them years of tarrying, yeah. sitting right in church, dying, yeah. dying. Yeah. dying. Until you got to question your own Holy Ghost. Yeah. Or you find yourself trying to ask yourself, do I got it? Do I still have it? Glory to God. That's why the devil sent these false prophets. To suffocate you. But thank God for the word. It comes to resurrect us. Put us back on the straight path. Come renew us all over again. That's right. Huh? But know this. Know this. That if the good man of the house. If the good man of the house. Had known in what watch the thief would come. Let's be the name of God. If the good man knew when the thief, when the would thief come, was coming. He would have watched. He would have watched. And would not have suffered his house to if be broken up. If we know exactly when the Lord comes. That's right. That's right. You know, if we actually know it. Knew it. Then you'll get yourself right. That's right. But here's he declared he's going to be as a thief. Let's go back to Corinthians. Back in 1 Corinthians 14 and verse 26. When you come together. Come how, on. How is it then, brethren? How is it that you in religions, you churches, when you come together? Every one of you hath a song. Hey, our Baptist church over here, Methodist church over there, a synagogue yeah. over there, a mosque over there, and Mormon church, all these churches. You mean to tell me God just give you open buffet? No way. An all white church or all black church. Black churches don't want white folk to come in. White folk don't want black churches to come in. And these are subjects where these preachers are scared to touch. Oh, yes. My God, but when God bring his word, everything is touched. That's right. Huh? It ain't, it, it ain't no such thing. Hands off. Not when it come to holiness. No, no. Holiness come and knock all the bowling pins down. Amen. Huh? How and is it? just knock them all down. What is that? How is it then, brother? How is it then, brothers? We come together. I want this to be good for every preacher in the world and every church goer that's listening and watching around the world. When you come together, how is it? Every one of you has a song. Every one of you got a song? Has a doctrine. Wait, have a what? Has a doctrine. Here's one religion got a doctrine. Doctrine, women can preach. Another religion got a doctrine, women can be deaconess. Mm -hmm. Another uh, religion got a doctrine, women can marry women. Mm -hmm. Another church got a doctrine, the preacher wife is the first lady. Mm -hmm. Another church got a doctrine, junior bishops, junior pastors, junior elders. Listen, you can't even be a junior devil. That's right. You can't even be a junior devil. That's right. How in the world are you a junior oh, pastor, yeah. junior deacon? And ju it ain't no junior. No. And you may have a junior as a son, but not in the uh, not in the area of ministry. That's right. Yeah. Every one of you. Everyone. Has a doctrine. Glory to God have a doctrine. Has a tongue. What? Has a tongue. Let's talk about that. Yeah. Let's go back to doctrine. Yeah. Let's doctrine. deal with doctrine because the Bible said I give you a good doctrine. Yeah. Here you have some churches got a doctrine. Baptism is an outward sign of inward grace. Yeah. Another church got a doctrine. You don't have to be baptized. But if you go by the doctrine of God, you must be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. That's right. Yeah? That's right. Amen. Now here's another church got a doctrine. You don't have to speak in tongues. Mm -hmm. Another church got a doctrine. You start off your tongues and then God will pick it up. Amen. But here in the doctrine of God, uh, if you don't speak in tongues, the Bible said they was all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues that the Spirit gave utterance. Mm -hmm. Now let's educate you. But the Bible put three titles to the one tongue. Yeah. It calls it another tongue. Mm -hmm. It calls it new tongue. It calls it unknown tongue. Now, other tongue, when you receive the Holy Ghost speaking in other tongue, you're going to speak 
in a other tongue or another language that's different from your everyday tongue. Also, it's called a new tongue because it's new to you because you never spoke it before. It's also called an unknown tongue because in the spirit you speak a mystery and you don't know what you're saying unless God gives you or somebody else the ability to interpret. That's right. You get what I'm telling you. That's right. Glory to God. What is it, son? How is it then, brother? How is it then, brother? When ye come together. When you come together. Every one of you has a song. Imagine that in one room. A bunch of preachers represent a bunch of variety of religions. Yeah. Jesus had 12 disciples yeah. and made them 12 apostles. Right. He didn't have 12 different religions. No. Right. He gave them all the same thing. That's right. The same, listen, the same message that you hear in Fayette, Mississippi, you are here in Philadelphia. Yeah. Listen, do you really do you really think that I would encourage you to come here to the church here in Fayette if Bishop Ellis wasn't speaking the same thing I'm speaking? That's right. I wouldn't ask, tell you to come here. No. I'd tell you go in the woods and go build a church. That's right. Huh? Amen. All right, take God. Do you know what a good feeling it gives me to know Amen. that there's someone down here in the woods Wonderful. standing for God's word? Amen. Huh? Wonderful. All right, take God. Do you know how good it feels? Because this message is hard to find. Yeah. You got too many men compromising and bargaining and they took a stand lower than what the word of God said. That's right. Money, the love of money have made these preachers backslide. Yeah. They have turned their back on God. That's right. Or their wife control the church. That's right. Like some of the churches you folks come to, come from, oh yeah, the preacher wife, the first lady, she controlled the church. Yeah. Amen. And the preacher can't even touch certain subjects without she giving him the eye. That's right. Yeah? That's right. Hey man, knowing Ellis, knowing Ellis the way I do, if Mother Ellis got upset, Bishop Ellis is going to preach harder. Oh, yeah. Huh? Yeah? Amen. Hey man, that's, that's, that's the way my wife is. My wife, sometimes she get upset with me. Thank God. And I know the word may be roasting her like chestnuts on an open fire. Hey Amen. I got to preach harder. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. And then when I drive her home, I know sometimes she may be upset yeah. because it's the flesh. Yeah. Thank God that sometimes she say, why do you got to say things like that? Yeah. I said, don't blame me. Don't blame, don't blame me. me. Glory to God. I, I got to do the will of him that sent me. Yeah. That's right. I just have to do it. That's right. Hey, I just have to do it. Glory to God, I got to call the world attention to what God Almighty have said. How is it then, brother? How is it then, brother? When ye come together. Amen. Do you hear this? When you come together. Every one of you has a song. Every one of you have a song. Has a doctrine. You brothers and sisters here in Mississippi, you be faithful. You give Bishop Ellis and the work down here all the support you can. That's right. You work faithful. Yeah. Hey Amen. You don't have to stay home now. You come on. Come on. Bless God and come on down here in the woods. If I can come down here, you can come down here. Yeah. Come on down here and thank God and wish up God in spirit mm. and in truth. Amen. That's a wonderful thing, isn't it? Oh, yeah. What did he say? Every one of Every you, one has of a you have, a, have a song and Every then one have a doctrine. Has a tongue. What? Has a tongue. Now. Jesus said about his apostles, it is not you that speaketh, That's right. but the voice of my father speaketh in you. Right. So the tongue of the preacher should be tied to the tongue of God. That's right. Because if God said, it is not you that speaketh, but the voice of my father speaketh in you, God don't contradict what the word said. That's right. Eh? That's right. So the message of the preacher should not contradict what God said. That's right. If God said flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, and somebody come along and say flesh and blood is in there, that's not God. No. Eh? no. If God say hero is your, the Lord our God is one, and somebody said it's three of them, there's a trinity, that's not God. That's not God. Whatever the Lord said, and these dumb, ignorant, hell bound things that pretend to be preachers, yeah. Come along and contradict God, that's, right. that's not God. That's right. You can recognize the words of God or the language of God because there's no deviation. Mm -hmm. that's right. He never deviates from his word. That's right. God is always on point with his own word. Amen. He don't contradict himself no. and he don't lie. That's right. Huh? That's right. What is it? How is it then, brethren? How is it? How is it? How you? is it? When you come when together, you come together every one of you has a song. How much of you? Every one of you. 
Half a song. You see, I'm not like most preachers that have a lot of preachers working with them. The work gets so large, I don't care what you preach, brother. Mm -hmm. I, uh, man, I, I, I'm, a, I'm a gospel inspector. That's right. I won't tolerate nothing but what the word of God says. That's right. Nothing. I don't care if the, I don't care if the people like you. What do I care? Right. I'm gonna look at what they can like you until you float in church, <laughs> brother. When I take the pen of the gospel and deflate that lie, yeah. you gonna come right back to what's written. That's right. I don't care if it hurts your wife, your children. You're gonna come right back to what's written. That's it. Huh? Come on, son. How is it then, brethren, when you come together? How is it? How them is brethren, when you come together, Every you preach you, you preach that write me from all around the world. You got to go by this scripture go here. This. Somebody say, well, God gave me a revelation. God revelations don't contradict the former apostles. That's no. Right. That's right. Mm -mm. Oh. No. no. When God gives you a revelation, there's nothing that can be revealed to you today that wasn't already revealed That's yesterday. Right. That's right. You see, to today's revelation it's just you got an understanding of, of, of something of yesterday. That's right. Because they already preached it. Yeah. You just now able to understand it. That's it. That's all that is. That's it. <laughs> what do you say, son? How is it then, brother? How is it then, brother? When ye come together. When you come together. Every one of you has a song. Every one of you have a song. Hath a doctrine. Hath a doctrine, doctrine, a doctrine. Now, Pastor Jennings is not allowed to implement his doctrine. No. I have to bring you the doctrine of God. That's right. My personal opinion or views don't mean nothing. nothing. No, I have to come bring you what the word of God. That's why if you watch us over the air or on social media, you constantly hear me plead with you. Follow me in the Bible. That's right. Come on back to Bible. That's right. Come on back to Bible. Huh? Why, why do I tell you come back to the Bible? Because you know you left it. Amen. Huh? The preachers left the Bible. If you don't believe me, next time you go to your false church, and you better not to, but if you go there, look at your preacher. He ain't got the Bible. He either got a laptop up there or got his sermon written down, and this, his sermon is on paper or is all in a computer that he typed out all week long. That's right. My God, man, this stuff is already written. Already written. What if God said whatsoever things are written a full time is written for our learning? Right. That we through pages and comfort of other scriptures might have hope. Yes. Jesus says, search the scriptures. The scriptures. That, uh, and then he says, you're error because you know not the scriptures. That's it. We want to stay within the scriptures. That's it. Right in it. Mm -hmm. now, not try to stay in it. Stay in it. In it. What he said. How is it, brother? Real quick. When you come together, every one of you has a song. And has a doctrine. Have a doctrine. Has a tongue. What? Has a tongue. Have a tongue. You know, has some folk got a tongue. They speak in tongue only when their bishop is around. That's right. That's right. They got the bishop's ghost. Bishop's ghost. Yeah. Huh? That's right. And man, they see bishop, they go off with something. <laughs> Almost bite their tongue, it's so messed up. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. But if you got the real Holy the Ghost, that the Holy Ghost will deal with you uh, while, while this stuff is hitting you. That's right. Because the Holy Ghost come in you to better you. Mm -hmm. And if anyone got the right spirit, you want to be better, you want to do better, and you want to be exactly what God wants you to be. That's right. Stop thinking that true love from a preacher is when he don't hurt your feelings. That's yeah. They say, oh man, Pastor, I hear it, I hear it so much. Pastor Jennings, he don't preach with love. You see, because they, they, they you know, I'm I'm like grandpa with the Bible. Yeah. yeah. You see, these folks and they go to these churches, they like young people, some young people who don't know how to raise a child, they don't discipline it. That's right. That's right. You know, they send it to a corner and say, time out. Time out, yeah. time out for what? Yeah. <laughs> You say time out, that child going to take time. When they go to that corner, it's going to take time out and got like a fool. Right. Why it's in the corner, it's going to be doing something yeah, stupid. Yeah, 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 huh? yeah, yeah. <laughs> All in the corner, just moving around. That's right. And, 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 but when they go to grandma and grandpa house, the only time out that child going to experience is when it's trying to rub the pain off. Yeah. That's, right. <laughs> hmm? That's why some, sometimes mother and father when having problems with that child, they can tell their child, listen, if you don't act, stop it, I'm going to take you to grandma and grandpa house. Right. And that child may be crying for, eh, eh, huh? 
They don't, they don't want to go to grandma and grandpa. You know why? They know that's an atmosphere of discipline. An atmosphere that don't take no foolishness. Amen. Eh? Amen. Not at all. Amen. Sometimes young people, they don't train their child, right? Holding this teacher everything. Sometimes young people let their children run all over their couch and put their feet all on the furniture, jump all over the coffee table, go in the refrigerator, don't wash your hands, you spank your child, your child hits you back and you say that's cute. No, it ain't. Oh, no. If it start hitting wise young, you're gonna start knocking you out when they get older. That's right. That's right. Man? That's right. Amen. Amen. And man, when I came up, you went over someone's house, you didn't sit down. You stood there until the people of the house said, uh, you, you like to have a seat? You take your hat off before you come in. Today, young folk come to your house, hat all to the side, come in, pants hanging down, showing their drawers that they haven't changed in a month. That's right. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Don't speak, don't speak to your mother, don't speak to your father, and they are in your house. Won't speak to you at all. Sometimes your parents got to say, how are you? And you're just sitting there. How are you? Sitting there, got music all in his crazy head. Yeah. Young man, how are you? Oh, what's up? Yeah. This is how sick this generation has that's become. Right. That's why we teach everything. That's right. And that's why so many folk get offended. But God wants the people to come back to his original agenda. And God's original agenda was that he made man upright. upright. And in order for man to get upright, you got to have an upright teaching. Yeah. What did he say? Not Mothering. this modern Christian trash. Yeah, yeah. This modern Christian trash that you like to watch on television like Kirk Franklin. That's nothing right. but a sinner. That's right. huh? That's These so-called gospel singers, they're sinners. Oh, yeah. Sinners. Oh, yeah. T.D. Jakes and these other mega churches are mega sinners. Mega and you sit there, come out, you feel the spirit. That's the devil rolling around in you. That's right. That's all that is. That's right. You look at these mega churches and these mega preachers, not one will speak against sin. That's right. Not one will speak against the devil. That's right. Not one. They're nothing but motivational speakers. That's all. And they never motivate you to live right. That's right. And get yourself right with God. That's right. Not one. That's right. Well, thank God they don't want to hurt your feelings. My God, man, when you do it like the Bible says, not only will the Bible hurt your feelings, It'll crush your feelings. Oh, yeah. So when we come telling folk what they must do, how they must do it, right away, he don't preach with love. And, uh, he, he's beside himself. And you can listen. I don't care what you think of me. Call me whatever you like. You better get yourself right before your britches be ushered in hell. That's right. God going to usher you out. <laughs> That's right. Right in the lake of fire. Amen. All right, Williams, come on. How is it then, brother? How is it then, brother, when, when you, you come, come together, together? Every one of you has a song. Everyone have a song. Has a doctrine. Have a doctrine. Has a tongue. It's like we got all these cameras. These brothers can't, everybody going, when they got the cameras, they ain't going to film all at the same time. No. You got a man sitting over there directing them. Yeah. All right, camera one, you do this. Camera two, you do the other. Camera three, you do the other. If everyone just say, all right, I'm going to start shooting. You know what a mess it'd be? Amen. It'd be everywhere. So you got to have someone to direct yeah. that keep order. Yeah. I say that to say this. God directs. Yeah. He keeps order. Keeps order. Yeah. And the way he keeps order, every church, every human got to follow the guidelines right. of what Jesus gave his apostles. That's right. When you do that, you in order then. Oh, yeah. How is it then, brother, when you come together, every one of you have a song? Has a doctrine. Have a doctrine. Has a tongue. Have a tongue. Has a revelation. Wait a minute. That's the problem. Everybody got revelation. Revelation. God always talking to everybody, That's leave right. it to people. Right. God said this. God said the other. God ain't never said nothing that contradict the book. No. Let's just make that clear. Any revelation that comes 
will never contradict God's everlasting word. That's right. And God ain't going to reveal something to you that you, 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 that you don't understand it. That's right. The purpose of him revealing it is to make it known. That's right. Huh? That's right. What is that? Half a revelation. Half a what? Half a revelation. Yeah, somebody got a revelation, God is black. Mm -hmm. Another got a revelation, God is white. One got a revelation, all heaven going to be white. Another got a revelation, all heaven going to be black. God, God ain't give none of you that revelation. No. You white folk ain't got it. You black folk ain't got it. Yeah. That's why I want to get into Jackson, Mississippi. Oh, yes. I want to get in there and let everything know none of you have it. That's right. I said none of you have it. Amen. Unless you have it like the word of God said, none of you have it. That's right. Huh? All right. Has a revelation. You have a revelation. Has an interpretation. And wait a minute. There's only two interpretations. Yeah. Someone says more than that. No, it's not. There's only two of them, right and wrong. That's it. That's all. That's all. Thank yeah. God. If it comes from God, it's right. Yeah. If it don't come from God, it's wrong. Amen. Well, that settles that argument quick, doesn't it? That's right. <laughs> Glory to God. Amen. All right. Let all things be done. And let everything be done. Unto edifying. Unto what? Unto edifying. You know, when a thing is done according to the word of God, we can get edification from it. Yeah, that's right. In other words, we can go somewhere in yeah. God. Yeah. I want everybody to understand this. God only have one thing, one yeah. way for everybody. That's right. And everybody got to hit the same root, root one. Oh, yeah. Huh? Oh, yeah. Everybody got oh, yeah. to hit the same root. That's right. Root one. Yeah. On root one, there's only one Lord there. Yeah. Right. Only one faith, meaning one belief. Yeah. Only one baptism, meaning only one water baptism. Yeah. There's only one standard, one God, and that's the Father of all, oh. through all, in all. Yeah, that's right. And everybody that contradicts God, you just wrong. That's wrong. Huh? Yeah. That's it. Doesn't matter how many people you have in that church. It doesn't matter. That's right. If you in a church, and a lot of you folks say, you think you're the only one right. It's not about Pastor Jennings. No. Stop trying to push it on me. That's the devil that's in you, trying to be slick that's and right. push it on me. That's right. Ask Pastor Jennings. That, listen, that, the Bible is older than Pastor Jennings. Oh, yeah. The word was here before I was born. That's right. And when folk get upset, they try to be slick. That's Gino's church. I don't have no church. No, no. No. Oh, it no. ain't Gino's church. That's right. You know, when I, was a, when I was a child, they had a restaurant named Gino's. And the song was, everybody goes to Gino's, yeah. for Gino's is the place to go. Remember that, William? Oh, yes. They had a Gino's restaurant. Uh, yeah. I saw that before they, I seen a McDonald's. Yeah. Everybody was going to Gino's. Well, you can go to a restaurant, but this is not Gino's church. No, no. This is the church of Jesus Christ, our Lord. That's right. Huh? That's right. This is the church by the Lord by the Jesus Lord. Christ. Mm -hmm. He died for it, yeah. not me. That's right. He shed blood, That's right. not me. Yeah. He's coming back for it, That's not right. me. That's right. My God, man, if I had to come back, I wouldn't. Yeah. <laughs> And I'll go away and tell the world, I ain't coming back. <laughs> That's right. Not at all. That's right. And, and put me through the same thing they put Jesus through. Yeah. I leave. I won't even prepare a place for you. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> you understand? Right. Man, Jesus went away and said, look, I go away to prepare a place for you. Not me. Yeah. I'll be like, hey, you ain't coming up. I don't want to see y'all folk. <laughs> Uh, all, after all I went through, Amen. I go away and just never come back. But right. here is the mercy and the love of God right. towards man. He mm -hmm. come along here and was manifested in the flesh and walk among the human family. Yes, Amen. And taught them and gave them lessons of his divine precepts and law, baptized his apostles and yes. then showed them how to baptize. Yes. Thank God and the Holy Ghost fell on them. That's right. Right. Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Bible said, was filled with the Holy Ghost. Huh? He walked among men, laid the foundation. Thank God. And there Paul said, other foundation can no man lay than that which is laid, which is Jesus Christ. So the church of Jesus Christ, no man can be the founder of. No man. Jesus said, I laid the foundation. That's right. And another build thereon. He said, take heed. How we build I want every preacher to get this. Jesus said, take heed. Take heed. How you build. That's right. Pay attention. Yeah. How you build. How you build. Everything, all the material mm -hmm. you put in God's church, yeah. not one jot of it yeah. can contradict what God has. That's right. You better repent, Baptist man. Yeah. Lutheran man, Presbyterian man. 
Christian scientists, Scientologists, yeah, yeah. Mormon, Muslim, Seventh-day Adventists. Yeah. You that go to all these different churches around here in Mississippi and the world, you better repent. Repent. You better repent now. Mm -hmm. This is what God wants you to do to be saved. I know a whole lot of you went to your southern church and the preacher said, and if you want a church home, I give you a home. And you, you get on the mourner's bench, you get several different ugly works of grace. That's right. That mess been around for years. Oh, yeah. And you sat on some bench at 15, mm. and you still sitting on it, and you 75. That's right. <laughs> and you got the varnish all on your clothing. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Eh? Amen. You ain't never been saved since you've been born. Amen. Here is the one plan of salvation. Acts chapter Here two. is the one way to be saved, the Bible way. Acts chapter 2 and verse 38. Acts 2 38 says, Then Peter said unto them, Then Peter, an apostle of Jesus Christ, he walked with Jesus. Yeah. He talked with Jesus and ate with the yeah. man, handled him. Yeah. He was even baptized by Jesus. Yeah. Right. Someone said, Jesus baptized? Oh, yes. Yeah. The Bible says Jesus baptized none but his disciples. Yeah. His disciples. Jesus baptized not, not. but his disciples. his disciples. You see, that's a Hebrew expression. Yeah. Hebrew is backward from English. Right. We would say Jesus baptized none. Mm -hmm. But his disciples, you better read that in the book of John. In St. John chapter quick, 4, we'll start at verse 1. John chapter 4, we'll begin at verse 1. When therefore the Lord knew. When the Lord knew. How the Pharisees had heard that Jesus made and baptized more disciples than John. Jesus made and he baptized more disciples than John. Though Jesus himself baptized not. You but, hear, you hear, you hear. Amen. Though Jesus Christ himself baptized not. But. But who? His disciples. We would say Jesus baptized none. None. But his disciples. But the Bible says Jesus baptized not. Not, but his disciples. Did you hear that? Though Jesus himself baptized not. You see, he got his 12 baptized and got them ready for the world. That's right. Huh? That's right. And man, he come along and baptized them 12 and got them ready for the world. That's now right. here, many of you fellas writing me claiming you're an apostle and you're not even baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. You're a possum. Amen. You're not an apostle. You're a possum. That's right. And you is them, is them possible to represent God and you ain't baptized in the name of Jesus Christ? You ain't baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. You're not an apostle. You're not a prophet. You're not an evangelist. You're not an elder. You're not a pastor. You're just a child of the devil. That's all. And a sinner. That's it. You didn't know that? Now you know. Amen. All right, let's go back to where you were. Then Peter said unto them, repent. No, Peter said, bow your head and raise your hands and accept Christ as your personal Savior. Peter said unto them, repent. No, join the church. Repent. The hour of decision. Repent. Hold a preacher's hand and repeat a sinner's prayer. Peter said unto them, repent. Join the church. Repent. Get on a mourner's bench and get several different works of grace. Repent. No, I open the church doors and give you a home. Then Peter said unto them, repent. You see, that's all that different doctrine. That's right. That shows all the different tongue of the false prophet. That's right. Here, what you better do, you that's watching me on social media all around the world, yeah. and you that's listening over the radio and in the television, bless God, the Bible says what? Repent. You know why God wants you to repent? Because you know how wicked you are. That's right. You of the devil. You live together, not married. God wants you to repent for him. sleeping with that girl and sleeping with that boy and walking around in your drawers like you, her husband. Amen. Huh? Amen. Sitting at the kitchen table in draws in a newspaper like you marry you old dirty sinner. Repent. Repent. Repent and be baptized. You get what I'm telling you? Repent. And hey, woman, you just walking around with no sense of shame. Yeah, yeah. Walking around in your underwear and bra. You know that man ain't your husband. That's right. Cooking that dirty bum some breakfast. That's right. God wants you to repent. Repent. Huh? Yeah. That's right. And then women write me and get offended because I address them as a hoe. If you're not a hoe, don't act like one. Amen. And brother, if you're not a whore monger, don't you act like one. That's right. All right. Then Peter said unto them, repent. You better repent now. You better repent. I don't repent. care how rich you are. You got to do it. That's right. I don't care how much money you have. Hey, Mr. Rich Man, have you noticed when you die, you don't take no money with you? That's no. Right. That's right. You can get a custom-made casket. I was looking in a magazine a few weeks ago. Someone had a custom-made casket made like a Bentley. Mm -hmm. Made like a Bentley, rims and everything. A Bentley. And, and, and no, I was thinking back, it was a Rolls Royce. It was custom made like the Rolls Royce Phantom. Yeah. Now, what you gonna do? Drive around in hell? <laughs> what are you gonna do? I want the whole world to understand 
you are nothing but a speck of dust. That's so, all. That's all. I, listen, I don't, I, I don't care how famous you are, how much fame you have. Right. Right. When you come back to reality, you are nothing but a speck of dust. The rich man got to do the exact same thing that the poor man got to do to live. That's right. You got to eat, you got to wash, yes. and you got to get yourself right. Yeah. You got to repent of your sins and go down in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. right. Rich man got to get on his knee. It doesn't matter how much your pants cost. That's right. If your pants is made out of pure silk, gold, ivory, and platinum. All right. That's some pants, isn't some it? Pants. Yeah. Bible still said every knee shall bow. Yeah. Yeah. I, look at some, I look at some people, how arrogant and silly you are. Yeah. Hey Amen. Got some cheap name brand. Hey Amen. And, and, and think their clothes is too uh, yeah. uh, much to yeah. Yeah. get on their knees and cry out to God. You're so foolish. That's yeah. right. Don't you know you only have the breath in your nostrils? That's all. Think of your body this way. If you got an apartment, eventually your lease is up. That's right. That's right. What happened? You got to go. Yeah. Your body is nothing but a place that's temporary. Yeah. And eventually your spirit gonna move out. Oh, yeah. Your spirit gonna have to go. Yeah. And your former house, your body, yeah. falls right apart. Right back. Right back. Right back. It goes right back to the dust. Right that woman that she was so crazy about, yeah. eyes now as full with maggots. Yeah. Her mouth is dropped open and a rat is in it. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. That man you're so crazy about, there's a mole in the grave. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Moles travel underground yeah. right. and it's sitting in his belly eating out what remains there. That's right. Yeah. For when a man Think of it. That man who you are so crazy about kissing his face and pulling his lip with your lips and biting him. Glory to God. Glory to God. He gonna be in that ground. Yeah. You may saw him in the morgue, his mouth closed. Yeah, yeah. But when years pass, yeah. that mouth drop. Yeah. All right. Filled with insects. Yeah. That's right. Huh? That's right. You go right back to the original stage. Yes, that's right. I don't I don't care who you are and what you think you are. Yeah. You're nothing but a piece of dust. That's all. And if you think you're something, the Bible says this. When a man thinks he is something, when he is nothing. Yeah. nothing you deceive yourself. Do you hear the Bible talk? Then Peter said unto them, repent. All right, Mr. Man, I don't care how tough you are. Yeah. Woman, yeah. Mr. Man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pastor Jennings, I got such and such and such a money. Who cares? That's right. When you die, you ain't got nothing. That's right. I want to show you what you don't have. Yeah. That's right. Pastor Jennings, look, I understand what you're saying, but I got my suit custom made. Your teller going to die. <laughs> That's right. Tell them about that. Your teller going to die. Your teller going to fall dead. Yeah. Huh? Well, Pastor Junior, that's all right, but I still got my suits. You going to die. You going to die. Well, when I die, they're going to bury me in it. You ain't going to know it. You ain't going to know it. That's right. You can get, you can get all gold in your mouth. Uh -huh. We go in the morgue, they'll take them out. Take it out. Take it out. Listen, listen. That dentist will get pliers. Snatch your teeth out and drag your body all across the room. Yeah, and yeah. you can't say, I got, got hurt. You can't, <laughs> you can't say that. Amen. Yank it right out your head. That's Walk right. around with all this gold in your fool mouth. Yeah. Looking like a tin can mouth. Yeah. God going to melt your chops. Yeah. Huh? Amen. I want you to know that you're nothing no. but dust. Someone said, well, Pastor Jennings, you can't tell me that. Take a bath and then examine your water. That's right. What do you think that is? That's you. That's you. Have you noticed you keep going down the drain? That's you, I said. That's right. You just keep going down the drain. That's right. Do you see what? And the thing about it, you can take a bath 
five and ten times a day. You can take a bath every hour of the day. You still going down the drain. That's God will have shown you. You're going back. That's right. You're going back where you come from. You may walk around and be an arrogant, prejudiced fool now. Yes. But I haven't seen a cemetery that's prejudiced yet. No. I want you white bigots to get this. Yeah. And you black bigots to get this. In mm -hmm. some cemeteries, a black man can't be buried in it. In right. some cemeteries, they won't let a white person be buried in it. Yeah. But when you both go in the grave, you both stink. Yeah. That's right. Huh? That's right. White man body blow up and swell. Black man body blow up and swell. Yeah. One thing about the maggots, they ain't prejudiced. No. You don't find no racist worms. No. Huh? No, no. You ain't no worms from the hood. <laughs> huh? You don't find worms strolling to a black body with a cap to a side down there in the grave talking. Hey, yo, what's up, man? Hey, what's going on? Hey, man, there's a black person there. We're going to hang out and party with him tonight. We're going to eat him up tonight. He ain't doing that. Huh? Amen. Where they got the worms, tear that black body to pieces. Oh, yes. The worms, tear that white body to pieces. That's right. You ignorant, hell-bound, arrogant, bigot preachers yes. that send your white and black pulpits. You see, when you got a white and a black pulpit, you in the church of Satan. That's yes. right. And God's church is just the pulpit. Yes. That's it. Do you get what I'm telling you? That's right. Then Peter said unto them, and repent. I, and I'm telling you what Peter said. Repent. 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 You got to repent. Repentance is you are sorry about all your wrongs. All your sins. Right. I want you people that was baptized, because there are some people been baptized in churches in the name of Jesus Christ. Got the right name, but you ain't never repented. Yes, yes. And that baptism ain't no good. That's right. Pastor Jennings, you mean to tell me I've been oh, baptized yeah. in the name of Jesus Christ, but if I don't repent, it's no good? No, it's no good, because there's an order to it. That's yes. right. Do you know baptism is a command, or rather repentance is a commandment? In the book of Acts, chapter 17. I said bap repentance. Repentance. Before you baptize, yeah. repentance is a commandment. That's right. You better give me the 17th chapter of Acts. And at verse 30. Follow me. And the Acts chapter 17, verse, verse 30. 30. I want this to be good for all you so-called Jesus-only churches yeah. that brag, Pastor Jennings, we baptize just like you mm -hmm. in the name of Jesus Christ. Have you repented? Have you repented? Wonderful. I, I never thought of that. Have you repented? Mm -hmm. Because to prove that so many of you haven't, many of you got baptized when you were a child because you wanted to be on the choir. That's right. That's right. Many of you got baptized so you can play the, play the drums in the That's church right. or be on the church choir. Right. The preachers or the old mother said, you can't be on the choir without you're baptized. You go get baptized and get on the choir. Right. You get baptized to play the guitar or play the piano or be on the auxiliary. You got baptized for the wrong reason. Oh, yeah. You had something else in mind. You ain't had no mind to change. You just had a mind to participate in church events and in church functions. That's right. You ain't no more baptized than a duck can tap dance with his flippers. What you say? Eh? What? That's what I'm saying, bitch. Eh? That's what I'm saying. Hallelujah. Glory to God. What did the Bible say? Notice this. I want this to be good for all of you that did get baptized, but yet you didn't repent. Right. You ain't baptized. That's right. Your baptism is no good. Right. Hear the Bible talking. Acts chapter 17 and at verse 30. What is it? And the times of this ignorance. And the times when you didn't know no better, you was ignorant. God winked at it. God winked at it, mean God had mercy on you when you didn't know no better. But now. But what? But now. But now. Commanded. Wait a minute. He requests. Commanded. He asked you. Commanded. What did God command us? All men. How much? All men. Where? Everywhere. Including Everywhere. Mississippi? Everywhere. Including Mississippi? Everywhere. To do what? To repent. What is repentance? Commandeth all men. Everywhere. Everywhere. Now you that are listening and watching around the world that been baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, including you that are here from whatever church, did you repent? Did you repent? Amen. Oh, Pastor Jennings, I don't know whether I repent or not. You know if you repent. <laughs> Let me make an example. When you done wrong as a child and your father or mother got that switch, you see down here in the country, yes, they get yes. that switch. Mississippi. Amen. They go out there and get that limb and plait it up. 
And most times the parents, they'll go get it. Sometimes they send you to get it. And if you go get it, you'll get the softest thing you can find. That way it don't cause much damage. And then, and, then, and then if the parents, if they do use it and they don't see the effects of it, they go out there. And they get it, and they may get two or three of them and plat them. Put them all together. And you know short terror is coming now. And when you see that switch, you get, you get convicted. You repent. I'm sorry. When, 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 when grandma and grandpa come in the house, you backing up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Huh? You're almost moonwalking. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I repent. <laughs> I repent. I'm sorry. Sometimes the child be going, please. Please, I'm sorry. That's what repentance is. You convicted now. Well, if you don't want to go to hell, you're going to repent. Oh, yes, you are. You're going to be convicted because there's a consequence that's coming that you don't want no part of. That's what real repentance is when there's remorse in your heart. So even though you were baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, did you repent? The Bible says in Acts 17 and 30. And the times of this ignorance, God winked at. In the time when you didn't know no better, God had mercy on you. But now. Right now. Commandeth all men. He command all men. Everywhere. To do what? To repent. Now let's go back to Acts 38 and see what Brother Peter told us. Then Peter said unto them, repent. That's the first commandment right there that you got to do for yeah. salvation. That's right. You got to repent for your wrong. That's the first thing you got to do. After you hear the word of God, the word of God prick your heart, you got to start repenting. repenting. You got to go before God from the heart. And that's God to forgive you for your wickedness of being so full of the devil and being so ungodly. That's, right. that's why he didn't say, be baptized first. No. He wants you to be convicted. Yes, huh? that's right. When you are convicted, no one got to fight with you to be baptized. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's why I tell parents, don't you send your children to be baptized. Yeah. Well, Pastor Dennis, I want us to be baptized as a family. It don't work like that. Work like Salvation that. is individual. Yeah. Right. Your children need not to be baptized right. until they understand yeah. what they're doing. Amen. If they don't understand what they're doing, then you got to save yourself. Save yourself. Yeah. Are you listening? That's right. Let mother go. Let father go. No need for children to do it until they understand. That's right. That's right. Do you hear the Bible talking? Then Peter said unto them, repent. Repent, repent, repent. repent. Be sorry, be convicted. Yeah. Get ready for change. Right. Then what? And be baptized. How much? Every one of you. Hallelujah to God. Blessed be God, every one of you, how? In the name of Jesus Christ. When you are baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, now I know many of you so-called apostolics and Pentecostals, you don't baptize in the name of Jesus Christ, you just baptize in Jesus' name. Jesus name. But I'm baptized in Jesus' name. You just wet. That's right. That's right. Because there's more than one Jesus in the Bible. That's right. Huh? That's right. That's right. And then Joshua, there are no J's in the Hebrew language. So the pronunciation of Joshua would be Hashua. Yeah. Well, in English, that's Jesus. Jesus. You had the brother of Jacob, which is Esau. In Arabic, Esau is pronounced Esau. Esau in Arabic means Jesus. Yeah. You had in the New Testament one that's called Bar Jesus, yes, who by interpretation name is Elymas, whom the Bible called a false prophet. Right. Then you had Jesus Justice, who was a fellow laborer with Apostle Paul. You got four in the Bible, right. but there's only one that's called Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. And he is God Almighty, the Savior of creation. That's right. So if you were baptized simply in Jesus' name and not the name of Jesus Christ yes. like Peter preached or the words Lord Jesus like Paul preached, Amen. you ain't baptized. That's Amen. Right. Then Peter said unto them, repent and be baptized. Every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ. For what reason? For the remission of sins. The word remission means removal. That's how you get your sins washed away. I believe one scripture says in the book of Acts, why tarriest thou? Arise, be baptized. Wash away thy sins, calling upon the name of the Lord. So nobody, hear now, nobody's sins been washed away without baptism. If you want your sins washed away, Mr. and Mrs., 
You got this to do. This to do. You got this to do. Repent. You got to repent. And be baptized every one of well, you. Well, Pastor Dennis, suppose I had the Holy Ghost. Do I still got to be baptized if I had the Holy Ghost? Give me the 10th chapter of Acts of the Apostles and begin at verse 44. Acts yeah. chapter 10 and at verse 44. I'm going to show you a whole group that got the Holy Ghost before they were baptized. Amen. While Peter yet spake these words. We're right back at Peter again. He's somewhere else preaching, isn't it? That's right. Why pity and speak these words? The Holy Ghost fell on all them which heard the word. The Holy Ghost or the Holy Spirit, which is the comforter. This is Acts chapter 10, begin at verse 44. While, While Peter, Peter speak the word, the Holy Ghost, which is the comforter or the Holy Spirit or God. Fell on fell all, on them, all which them, heard them that the word. heard the word. And they of the circumcision which believed were astonished. And they that were Jews that were believers, they were amazed. As many as came with Peter. Even them that accompanied Peter. Because because that on the Gentiles also. Because on the other ethnic groups, that's what the gen word Gentile mean. Yeah. Gentile mean other races, that's other right. ethnic groups. What happened to them? Because that on the Gentiles also was poured out the gift of the Holy Ghost. How did they know they had this Holy Ghost? For, for they heard them speak with tongues and magnify God. How did they know they had the Holy Ghost? For they heard them speak with tongues. Some folks say, well, you get the Holy Ghost when people are jumping around and shouting. That don't mean they got the Holy Ghost. No. I don't mean that at all. No. You ain't never had the Holy Ghost until you receive it speaking in other tongues as the Spirit of the Lord God give out us. Now, they received the Holy Ghost while Peter was preaching. That's right. That's right. And they wasn't baptized yet. That's no. right. But notice what Peter began to say. Then answered Peter, can any man forbid water? Can anybody forbid water? That these should not be baptized, which have received the Holy Ghost as well as we. Now, let's see how necessary baptism is. And he commanded them to now, be baptized. That's a commandment also. That's right. Repentance is a commandment. Yeah. Baptism is a commandment. That's right. He commanded them. He commanded them to be baptized. How? In the name of the Lord. All right. Now, people ask me, and some laid me out and said, well, you baptizing people over. That's right. We baptized thousands over. Oh, Is it in the Bible? Yes. yes. Let's get Bible for that in the 19th chapter of Acts. Acts chapter 19, we're starting at verse 1. Why Apollos was at Corinth? Paul, having passed through the upper coast, came to Ephesus. And he found certain disciples and said to them, Have you received the Holy Ghost since ye believed? And what did they say? And they said unto him, We have not so much as heard whether there be any Holy and Ghost. And what did Paul ask John the Baptist following? And he said unto them, Unto what then were ye baptized? That's what I'm asking you this afternoon. How were you baptized? Right. If you were baptized in a Baptist church, Methodist church, I want all of you to listen and you that are watching. If you were baptized in a Baptist church, Methodist, Presbyterian, Lutheran, Catholic, non-denominational, so-called Pentecostal, yes. That's right. all of you was baptized wrong. That's right. Because every last one of those religions baptized opposite from the Bible. That's right. All of them. That's right. You got a preacher who's not even baptized right. Amen. You got a sinner for a bishop. And a sinner for a pastor. That's right. Your sins not even washed away without baptism. That's right. What is it? And he said unto them, unto what then were ye baptized? That's what I'm asking you this afternoon, Mississippi. Amen. Come on. M I S S I S S I P P I. That's right. That's what I'm asking you. That's right. I'm asking you, Mississippi. Unto what then were ye baptized? Mr. and Mississippi. Amen. All right, take God. How were you baptized? And they said unto John's baptism. You got John's baptism. Then said Paul. What? John verily baptized with the baptism of repentance. Saying. That saying that saying they should the believe that on they him. They should believe on him which should come, come after him. Af Even John pointed them to Jesus. Yeah, That's right. John told you to believe on him that come after him. Yeah. That is on. That is on Christ Jesus. What happened to his followers when they heard it? When they heard this. Then what? They were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. But yet they was already baptized by John. Yeah. But they had to get it all over again. That's right. That's right. And I'm persuaded there's many here now That's right. who are going to have to get it over again. Oh. Anybody want to obey the word of God and get on God's side and get right. So when the Lord do come as a thief in the night, he don't catch you and send you to hell. That's right. If you want to be baptized right and walk with the truth, in the name of Jesus Christ, stand on your feet. Come on if you want to be baptized right. Stand on your feet. Isn't that wonderful? All right. 
You sisters, let's you sisters come on. Show the sisters where to go. And uh, you brothers, show the brothers where to go, please. Let's get the brothers together and show them where to go. You brothers go with that brother, brother with the white shirt on. Raise your hand. You brothers go with him. Where's my sisters at? Mother uh, Willis, Mother Ellis, I'm sorry. And Sister Rollins, please let them see where you're going so they can direct you where they're going. Everybody must be born again like the word of God. Sir. Everybody. Come on. Go and take God and get it right. Isn't that wonderful? Everybody must, 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 must. That's what Jesus said. That's right. Jesus said you must be born again. Well, thank God we baptized 17 last night. Thank God and we're still fishing. Oh yeah. Doesn't matter who you are, you got to be baptized right. That's right. You, That's right. you Baptist people, you Methodist people, you've been baptized wrong. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You men, stop sitting around waiting on your girlfriend or waiting on your wife. Yeah. Peter says, save yourself. save yourself. You wives, stop waiting to see what your husband's going to do. Yeah. You got to save yourself. Save yourself. That's right. Come on. You might as well get on God's side. You might as well get on God's side. You folk that been baptized, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, you're not a Christian. You're still a sinner. I don't care what your pastor said. You tell your pastor he's a sinner also. That's right. He's nothing but a Mississippi sinner. Amen. 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 He's a Mississippi sinner. Oh, it's a God. Then Peter said to them, Repent. All right, Mississippi. Everybody in the house today, that haven't got this baptism according to the Bible. Yeah. If you haven't got it in the name of Jesus Christ, you got it wrong. Right. You, all you got to do is tell me what church you're from. Yeah. I, I study the religion. Yeah. I know how they baptize. You know? yeah. They all yeah. baptize wrong. Yeah. Not only must you be baptized. Now, this is another thing I want to deal with before I quit. Many of you get baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, then go back to your false church you come from. Right. You will go to hell just the same. That's right. Because the Bible says they continue yes. steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine. In the apostles doctrine. That means this. After you repent of your sins and are baptized in the name of Jesus Christ and have the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues, you got to continue in the teachings of the apostles, and you can't do that in a false church. That's right. The Bible says, come out from among them. Yes. Wherefore? Read chapter and verse quickly. 2 Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 17. First, 2 Corinthians chapter 6. Verse 17. And verse 17 says. Wherefore, come out from among them. Here you stand in your fake church. Yes. You hypocrite. Amen. The Bible says, come out. Come, come out, out from going. among them. Come out. Come out. You better get this middle-aged woman, old woman, or young woman. Come out. Young man, old man, middle-aged man. You're going to die. You're going to die. And let me tell you, I don't care what nice words your preacher, your so-called reverend say over you. Yes. He can lie and tell your family, I see Mother Green up in heaven yes. standing there hugging her husband. Yes. That's right. You old liar. Amen. Oh, Reb on the pulpit. I see Mother Green. He's up there. I see her right now sitting at the feet of Jesus. Oh, there's, oh, there's Deacon Green. And hugging. Oh, liar. There ain't nobody went to heaven yet. Nobody. nobody. Bible says no man hath to send it up into heaven at any time, but he that came down. That's right. When you die, you march to the cemetery. That's it. You might as well get ready to obey this. That's right. The Bible says. Wherefore come out from among them. Leave your false church. Leave it. Amen. Leave it. Come out. And be what? And be ye separate. Who said it? Saith the Lord. Not Pastor Jennings there, you, so you can't blame that on me either. That's right. May God bless you. May God keep you. We thank God for them that decide to obey the word of God. And let me read this announcement because they got refreshments to be served. Uh, it's going to be prepared for, prepared for everyone at the Alcorn State University, 1000 ASU Drive. So everyone is welcome to go there and get a chance 
they get something to eat, rest, and fellowship with each other and talk about how you want to obey God. <laughs> May God keep you. We're going to turn you back in the hands of Bishop Ellis. Amen. Greeting again, greeting again. Truly, we thank God for wonderful messages that have come from Pastor Jenin. We thank God for uh, reminded when the two disciples were walking with Jesus on the road, the, the Emory Road. They were walking with him, and he opened the word of God up. And when they found out they had been walking with Jesus, they say, did not our heart burn? Yeah. Why, he talked with us by the way. Did not our hearts burn within us? Amen. When the word of God is coming forward like that, it's a blessing as well as a privilege. From Mississippi, M-I-S-S-I-S-S-I-P-P-I. -S 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 -I -I, <laughs> we thank God. We passed the gin and spills out of Mississippi. We thank God for him. We thank God for a great message that was preached. And we thank God for you that have come in the bad weather. We thank God for you that have sacrificed so much to come here to be with us in Mississippi. We appreciate you so much. Words can't express it. The appreciation that for your sacrifice to get here in Mississippi to make this event what it is. We thank God for you. I truly, personally, thank you for coming. You look so good to me. I thank God for you. It's a blessing as well as a privilege to be here. And as Pastor Jenny read the invitation off, we, they have uh, catered a, a dinner for you all, even the one that is going back today. We would like for you to go to Alcorn 